In this lesson, I want to show you how to navigate the forum. And as you can see here, it's already been set up on the front end once you install it. But I just want to show you just a couple of things, uh, how you can be able to manage on the back end. So you go to Components, and then you go to Easy to Discuss. And as I mentioned before, you know, the purpose of this course wasn't to go into extensive details about using this extension, but it was just to give you an idea of how you can kind of get your feet wet. So let's take a look here at the front end. This is the front end of the website where users can be able to, you know, ask questions. They can be able to get involved. So let's go back here. And you have different categories you can create. So by default, right now, we have a uncategorized. So you can, if you want to change that or if you want to add something else, you have to click on New. And you can just click on the existing category to change it. So I'm going to call this one Pre-Sales. And right here, this is where you put a notification email. So every time that there's a discussion in this in this uh, category, you're going to get an email saying that you know there's a discussion, and it tells you what that discussion is about. So you can put your email there if you want to receive notifications, and then you can put a little description here about you know uh, this particular category, something like post your pre-sales questions here or whatever it is that you want it to be. Uh, you can also add an avatar. And let's go over here to the permissions. This is really important. If you notice, you have two columns. You have the, the left column is column is showing you uh, who can get access to certain things. And from the right column, you can pick and choose who you want to see something. So let's say you want to create a, a form that's exclusively just for your customers who have already paid and visited you. And um, they already have their login. You can be able to choose what they see compared to what the general public sees. So let me just show you here. So you have uh, public guest manager administrator. So let's say you want this, you want just uh, the register users to have access to certain things. When you look here, so who can select this category when creating discussions? Whatever you choose here, you can add it to the to this left side. So for example, if I want just register users and then the super user, when I click add, it's going to add that on there. That means that no one else but only registered users are going to be able to access, uh, to be able to uh, perform this task, which is who can select this category when creating um, discussion. But if you want to leave it just open so that people can be able to browse and see things, uh, then you can do that. But you can kind of get a, go, go around and just kind of mess with this um, to see how, you know, how it all works. So I'm just going to delete this here. So right now everything is set to open hook and view discussions in this category who can reply. For reply, you can set that to register who can view replies. You can lift that to um, the general. And then you can get, so you can pretty much just kind of get and just, you know, add and delete what you want. It gives you a lot of control and flexibility because there are times when you want the form to be for certain people and other times you want just everyone to get access to it. So once that's set, you click on save and close. So there's one thing here that I want to sh show you, and that is I want to add a login form on the right side here of this page so that you know users can be able to post things and ask questions and things like that. So now that we've added that category, let's go over to extensions and manage, and we're going to upload. Now these extensions have different modules and plugins that you can incorporate in it, but I'm not going to install all the modules that um, that are meant for this. So let's click to choose the one that I want to install. So I've selected the module that I want to install, and once it's installed, then I can go over to the module manager to uh, put it to the place that I want it to be. So let's go over to extensions and go to the modules. So this is it right here. This says easy, discuss, welcome. So I can just put in forms and then make sure this is set to publish. And then for the position, I want to set it to the right position. Now you can put in whatever position based on the template that you're, you know, you're using. Uh, but for this one here, let's put it on the right side and go to pages. We want to go to only on the pages selected. And then you want to click on none. And let's scroll here. We want to select just the forms. We don't want this to show up in other pages on the forum, page, forum pages. Or if you wanted to shove on other pages, you can do that as well. But it might mess up with the layout of, um, and when I'm in mess up, it's not going to, you know, distort. It's just going to squish 
the, the page a little bit more. Okay, so we want to keep this title to show. And then where you can look here, you can choose to click on yes or no. Do you want to show my discussions and the login and crypto form? So let's click on save. And we're going to take a look on the front end to see what it looks like. So when you refresh the forms page, you notice now that you have this menu, uh, this login form here. So if I log into this, you can see what's going to show up. And by the way, if you wanted to make that login form just for you know uh, members only, then you can click where it says public access and you click on register or you can set different permissions for that. So now that I've logged in, it's asking me, do I want to... No, I don't want to save. So let's go over here to the form. And you can also set a redirect for the page that you want people to go to after the login. So right now it's set to the home, but you can click the drop down and you know change it. So I'm going to change this one here to the form. So whenever someone logs in, it's going to automatically just redirect them to the form. So you can see here it has different options. People can, you know, you can edit your profile, you can add an image, uh, you can you know, discussions, you can, you know, stay in touch, you can reach out. So it's a really, really cool component that you need to have on your site. Uh, and then you can, you know, so that way you can be able to interact with other, you know, customers, other people. Uh, so this pretty much, you know, it's, it's a great way to, you know, for you to get started with this. I mentioned before, I have a course that, you know, walks you through all the features that this thing has to offer and shows you exactly how to use it. So that said, you can change the image. You can see the different categories. You can see your post. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson.